Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Imperator Rome here today on the channel. We have another mod spotlight. We're going to be checking out the Ashes of Empire, a Dark Age mod for Imperator Rome. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below other mods you would like me to showcase and spotlight. And leave a like and let me know if you would like to see future videos on this mod. I could definitely see myself playing as the Eastern Roman Empire after my Roman Empire campaign on the channel. Let me know if that's something you would like to see. I'll put that in the description below as well the mod if you guys would like to download it and play along with me and check things out for yourself. So this mod mod starts at 527 with the crowning of Justinian Augustus after the breakup of the Clovis uh, Kingdom of uh, Francia here. So here is the world of uh, the Dark Ages of course. Now please do take into consideration that this mod is in very early stages of development. It's only been out for a week or so. So they still need to fix the date. There are some minor changes coming here and there. So for today's video, I thought we'll check out the Eastern Roman Empire and uh, yeah, showcase them off. We've got the likes of Theodoric, the Ostrogoths, of course, in central Italy and Illyria. We've got the Vandals down in the south in North Africa. The Visigoths in Spain, we've got Paris here as well, Persia is quite strong and dominant in this time period. So let's jump into the Roman Justinian campaign. A new emperor, here's a little blurb as well. And it's actually been changed as well. A new emperor, it's been 50 years since the final emperor in the west was overthrown by the traitorous barbarians. But the Roman Empire endures. In Constantinople, a new emperor has been crowned. His name is Justinian. He begins his reign facing threats from all sides, but also unique opportunities. In the east, a long-lasting peace with Persia is about to end. In the north, migratory hordes threaten the Balkan frontier, yet... While these threats are real, there are also opportunities. The successes of Theodoric and Gesoric are weak in Italy and Africa, two of the richest provinces of the old Western Empire, and are ripe for the taking. Belisarius, get the, get out of the fucking tavern. It's time to go. <laughs> the empire has endured Hannibal, Mithridates. Chapo and Attila, and we will not just survive, but thrive. A new world. So here we have Justinian Augustus, 25 years of age. His uh, culture is Illyrian, and his religion is Nicene. So let's go through this. So we have Justinian Augustus, of course. Looking at his current culture distribution, 30% Persian, Hellenic. Uh, Nicene mostly, as you can see there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm working it through you guys, working it through with uh, you guys as well. So we have a couple of all Augustus, uh, Germanius, not Germanicus, Octavius, Augustus, Flavius, Belisarius. Okay, so I currently have a daughter here. We'll go through the families as well. Bishop, court philosopher, here are the current laws of the Eastern Roman Empire, military, tech-wise. This mod is really promising. Like, there's a lot of stuff to like in this, diplomacy-wise as well. We currently have a couple of subjects here, Nabatia, and a fair few others as well. Diplomacy-wise, decisions, divine sanctions, embrace Greek culture, embrace Islam. Okay, so you can really change your religion up. They do plan to have this, have this mod start in the Dark Ages from late antiquity all the way up to the Middle Ages and CK2 in the 9th century, eventually allowing you to go all the way. So let's see the current families that are in the Roman Empire. So we have the Augustus line, Octavius, some daughters here. Uh, Belisarius, Augustia, looks like we have some Anatolian territories, got some Hellenic people here as well, maybe, yeah, maybe, Aperoni, yeah, yeah, there's even some Roman families that have come with us, 
which is interesting to see. Leonid. Leonidas, I think they're sort of Greek related. Okay, so at the moment we currently occupy the entirety of Greece, some of the Balkans in the north, the entirety of Asia Minor here, bar that little back bit, most of the Middle East here, Israel, Syria, and Egypt as well. And I'm currently married off, which is fantastic. Okay, guys, we're currently mustering our armies. We're going to push them to the border here against the Ostrogoths, and then we'll have a quick war and fight against them. I'll go through the features and uh, current available features and, and whatnot in this alpha, but also they've actually retextured the units as well. Nice, bright purple, very cartoonish. I like the look of it to represent the Eastern Roman Empire. It's a very nice touch. Also, here is a little blurb from the uh, the Alpha. So, welcome to the Alpha. This is from the team. So, this version is 0.5. <laughs> okay, right. So, the right is about 5% of what we will eventually become. Right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, part of the reason that Imperator's modding is a bit buggy right now, for example, the start date cannot be changed. I mentioned that previously characters don't load up. In the coming months and years, be on the outlook for further updates as we add dozens of new characters, rework religions, interesting mid-game events like the Arab unification. Ooh, and uh, generally add more flavor. If you want to be a part, join the Discord below. Excellent, so that's a little blurb from the team there, and we'll slowly but surely wait until my armies. Get to the border against the Ostrodoths, and we'll have a crack at the Boy King. Radio, then, guys. I think I'm ready to have a crack at the Boy King and declare war upon the Ostrogoths and reclaim the Italian peninsula for the Romans. Well, let's declare war and uh, get revenge on them. I have had some children, of course. Gaius, uh, Augustus, and Volius Augustus as well. Let's set everyone to independent operations, and we're going to push over the border here in uh, Illyria. I'm curious to see how well we do. We'll quickly throw everyone back to independent operations as well, and uh, let's push over the border where we can. Let's have a look at the enemy opposition. We outnumber them archers-wise, 45k to 28k. Uh, they do outnumber us chariots-wise in heavy cavalry. We do have more heavy infantry. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with light infantry, and we outnumber their navy 4 to 1. So just thought I'd run through some of the features that are described on the Steam page, which is linked in the description below, if you want to go read it for yourself and download the mod. So... In the Alpha at the moment, there are 527 new nations in their starting positions. There are new religions as well. Christianity, Aryan Christianity, Tengri, Slavic, and Islam. We've got some new cultures here as well. Slavics, Turks, Berbers, and Bulgars as well. We've got new characters such as Justinian, Belisarius, and Theodora, as we've already met in that campaign so far. Uh, roads in the former Roman Empire territory, so you don't have to go over there and build yourself. If the Romans occupied that territory and slowly but surely built paths and roads, like they did historically, they're going to be there. So I really like that. It's going to be a massive incentive to take that Western Roman territory lands, and you're going to be able to have good, solid supply chains. There are some current events in there, the Nicorites, the Plague of Justinian, and there's also the ability to form some new nations if you hit the following requirements. Uh, for example, there's Ireland, Britannia, Pickland, Francia, the Holy Roman Empire, the Western Roman Empire, and the Gothic Empire and Arabia. And then we'll move on to now some of the features that are to come in the future and uh, some of the mod team's visions. So the mod team, as they've stated, they would like to rework the religion. They want to add dozens of new characters, more historically accurate pop distribution throughout the kingdoms and empires, more of a, uh, more of a historical flavor, better balancing, new animation and government types. They also would like to add more events, like the campaign of Belisarius. Uh, we've got some Slavic invasions in the Balkans as well, the rise of Islam, the first Viking raids, and the Bulgarians incursions into the Balkans and political maneuvering with the Pope and other patricians that's other events and sort of dynamic dynamic events that they would like to add in the mod 
Slowly but surely now finishing off the last of the Ostrogoths. 95% towards capitulation, 96 now. We have the entirety of Illyria and the Italian peninsula, Sicily as well. The boy king now is a fully grown man. And uh, we'll soon see in a moment what it'll look like when we've annexed the uh, entirety of the territory. So we've aggressively pushed the Ostrogoths back, conquering all their territory. And this is what the map would look like if we annexed all their territory. The entirety of Italy, Sicily here as well. This is what the Roman Empire looks under Justinian in uh, probably about... 600 now I would say but let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more videos on this mod I've been thoroughly enjoying my time playing it maybe like I said after we finish my Roman campaign maybe we can do this sort of Eastern Roman campaign if that's something that you guys would like to see let me know in the comments as well other mods you would like me to showcase and spotlight and if you see someone else comment the mod you want to see, just thumbs up the comments. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video a tweet goes out it's much more reliable than the youtube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the steam group come and join the community on steam and on that note unfortunately i have to end the video here thank you very much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is ben simsy goodbye